you can see she's strong, she was confident, she did her thing. Yeah, we can see some smiles here today. And she's just a joy, a joy yeah. to watch. Yeah, really joy to watch. And the joy is all hers. The gold goes back to Abidjan. And that will be a little booster for Team Ivory Coast. I'm sure Sheikh Salasisi, well, he's just looking down. He'll be fighting tomorrow. Top moments for all the Ivory Coast fans. The tricolour around their shoulders. Great value. We can see some real class here right now with double and quadruple. Even though if he can block this, it will hurt, obviously. Bringing the power, bringing the pain, and bringing back the gold is Bagby. Well, here we go for the final. Zaid Karim striding into the arena. Really good performance in that semi final. Yeah, he showed some quality, especially with Bradley. It's not easy, it's super hard to fight with Bradley. His fitness level is amazing, he's a flexible fighter. He can do a lot of things, but this guy showed us some real strength and real quality in the semi final. And he's going to need all of that strength and quality against this man here. Javier Perez Polo wasting no time at all. He's striding in. A familiar fighter around the podium. He scored a really good fighters today in semi-final with, with guy from France, TM. Amazing fight, but now the finals. In front of him is strong fighter and we'll see what he can do. Agbaton Engelbert in charge of proceedings. In terms of the tail of the tape, was standing at 1 meter 92. Javier Perez Polo, 1 meter 85. Zaid Karim. He could probably be heavyweights at that height. But yeah. So the under 68s. Be under no illusion, they've got all the skills. Zaid Karim, he's the Jordanian in blue. Perez Polo, of course, as both men go for gold, into the clinch they go. As Engelbert says, Please release me, let me go. Perez Polo tries to fire one onto the body, back leg turn and kick, landing nicely. action from Javier, he didn't score, but the punch and the kick from the inside, really good. Yeah, the Perez polo punch, followed by that head kick. There was a little wave there from Faris, the Jordanian coach, but on we go. It's hard when you do something like this and it's not, it doesn't score. At least the punch gave him one point, it was a good action. <laughs> I'm with you on that one. But at some level as well, as we see a nice little shot scoring on the inside from Perez Polo. Oh, he turns the back as well just to get out of the way there. The referee lets it float. Yeah, for me, it was maybe a come true, but he turned his back, maybe a little <laughs> run. <laughs> but it's OK, 2-0 for him now and one minute to go. Perez Polo with a big back leg boot to the body. Yeah, amazing, strong and fast. He did not expect that. Well, nobody expects it unexpected. Least of all, Zaid Karim, the Jordanian. Can he jump back into it? Yeah, the little sensor sock has come loose. So there are magnetic sensors in the bottom of the protector. Well, we're going to get a little chance to have a look at it here. We're just testing it to make sure it's working. 
It's been flawless so far, KPNP. Any feedback from the athletes? Have you heard much? Good, bad? Usually Dado, this time KPNP? I think it's a good change from, from time to time just to see what option is better for you. But as you see, looking for the option. Yeah, Zaid will not surrender. He's trying his best now. It's 7 0. It's hard with experienced fighter to do something in the last 20 seconds, but you never know. We just saw with Ruth in the last couple seconds she scored. I love a comeback in the style of Bagby, but Perez Polo has the patience and the precision. Standing tall now, front leg just as a counter into the last 10 seconds of the opening round. Nice footwork there, just lets that one whistle past. And Zaid Karim almost nodding as if to say, OK, we're going to have to come back for a second round. This one will go to Spain. Very, very good value from Javier. Yeah, I can agree on that. As in the semi-final, he's using long and short distance all the time. We can see he's really experienced, he's really nice and he looked really confident. 7-0, Zaid was better a little bit in semi-final, but it's hard to fight with someone who is taller than you. Yeah, it most certainly is a tall order and it's this coach and fighter combination that's causing all the problems. I was actually about to say in the men's minus 80s, I was looking at their height and I thought they must be minus 68s. This is amazing, really. He is 192. Scaling the heights here in Paris as both men go into the significant stages of this under 68 kilogram final. Jordan against Spain straight away in there. Zayed Karim. Jordanian in blue, the Spaniard, of course, in red, and getting closer to some Spanish gold. Yeah, his steps were good. He created opportunity for him in the clinch. He scored 3 0 for the start. Good reverse turning kick attempt there. Well blocked, sees it coming there. That would have been a five-point score, so the confidence there for Zaid Karim. It looks like he'll go all or nothing in this round. I think it's a little bit early. It's the start of the second round. You need to try something else, and the end, in the end, in the last 15, 20, 20 seconds, you try stuff like this. Well, wise words. From the world and double Olympic champion Milica Juricic providing the expert analysis here in Paris. But the more expert of the two so far has been Perez Polo. And is again all or nothing from Zarid Karim just trying to fire forward there. The aggression evident, the ag just the attention to detail, just a little bit off so far for Jordan because Perez Polo again. Again with the back kick to the protector, really. He's really open, you can see in the front, uh, with, the, with the open stance, his hands are out. He wants to try the spinning kick, but he doesn't score. Yeah, good work here from Perez Polo. That little gam jump will give Zaid Karim some sort of glimmer of hope as we move towards the last 30 seconds. Javier wants just to extend his lead. He's not giving this five to one for him. Only tw 20 seconds left, but he's fresh, he's fast. I don't think that for Zaid, he has a lot of options to do. He tried everything, really. This is his fourth or fifth spinning kick from the beginning of the round, but six to one and 40 seconds to go. Yeah, the clock is against him. Zaid Karim has fought hard, but Perez Polo finds another shot underneath. It's going to be an injury timeout here. Looks like a sore one to the bottom of the foot, but he's going to limp his way, I would guess, onto the podium now because at the end of this, Perez Polo has been the better of the two. Fires forward with a reverse turning kick. Well avoided there. Any sort of connection or contact. The coach has a little look. The gamjum will be given. Five points of a difference. 
four seconds left. Perez Polo counter back leg and into and onto the top of the podium. Javier Perez Polo, great value for it. Fighting to the finish there, silver medal to Jordan, but this man here, Melitza, richly deserving the deserved gold. Of course, he was. He was really uh, prepared for this fight, focused for two rounds. He didn't make mistakes at all in the first or second rounds. You can see he still looks fresh. He was sharp in the, every fight today. I watched him amazing.